a value becomes absolute if we decide to disregard the opposite or negative nature of numbers. That means, of course, that in practice all absolute values become positive. Absolute values are always shown surrounded by two vertical bars. For example, absolute 9 equals 9. Absolute negative 9 equals 9. Absolute negative 14 plus 6 equals absolute negative 8 equals 8. Absolute negative 7 plus 23 equals absolute 16 equals 16. Negative 18 plus absolute negative 5 plus 2 equals negative 18 plus absolute negative 3 equals negative 18 plus 3 equals negative 15. Notice that negative 18 is not absolute. No bars. The answer is negative because only negative 3 is inside the bars and it turns positive. Let's try now equation with absolute values. The thing to remember here is that the answer to an absolute expression is never negative. Furthermore, it also means that it cannot start as a negative expression. Therefore, we then must realize that each unknown absolute value has the possibility of coming from either a positive or a negative value, producing then two solutions. For example, in absolute x equals 8, the value for x could be 8 or negative 8. Another example, absolute y plus 9 equals 14. Subtract 9 from both sides. 14 minus 9. Absolute y equals 5. y could be either negative or positive. One more example. Absolute 5x minus 7 equals 8. Here we have to compute for two possibilities. A positive outcome and a negative outcome that must be computed independently. First, 5x minus 7 equals 8 and 5x minus 7 equals negative 8. Compute independently. Add 7 to both sides. Divide by 5, and two values for x emerge, x equals 3, or x equals negative 1 over 5. Now, because the answer to an absolute amount is always positive, equations equal to a negative outcome cannot be solved. For example, absolute 5x minus 7 equals negative 8. You see, this equality calls for a negative outcome. Cannot be done. Trying another example, we see that even if it starts positive, here the result is also negative, because although it begins with a positive, when the 10 is removed to start the solution, a negative 2 shows up as the outcome. Cannot be done either. Okay, we're going to take this absolute value thing and see how inequalities with absolute values are handled. You already know that inequalities give a range of values. Therefore, when inequalities include absolute expressions, a conjunction or a disjunction is formed. Notice that in a conjunction the arrow shows union towards the variable, and that in a disjunction the arrow is pointing away from the variable. In a conjunction, sometimes defined as in-between sets, two values emerge. They become external limits, for example, a fixed set of integers, beyond which answers will not be found. In the conjunction, absolute x is less than 5. The answer yields two boundaries. x is less than 5, and x is greater than negative 5. Or, negative 5 is less than x, x is less than 5. If we put it on a graph, we get a solid line with empty circles marking the limits. Another example, 
absolute 4x minus 7 is less than or equal to 5. Write two possibilities. Positive possibility, negative possibility. Add 7 to both sides. Divide by 4. Get two answers. x is less than or equal to 3. x is greater than or equal to 1 half. The conjunction is then. 1 half is less than or equal to x. x is less than or equal to 3. If we put it on a graph, it shows the in-between sets. Notice the solid circles of less or equal. Now, in a disjunction, sometimes defined as beyond sets, the values are limitless in two different directions. One positive, one negative. For example, in the disjunction, absolute x is greater than 3, the answer sets are in two opposite directions. x is greater than 3, or x is less than negative 3. If we put it on a graph, it shows the empty circles of greater than or less than, and the arrows pointing away, like two trains heading in opposite directions. For example, absolute 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 6. Set up two possibilities, positive possibility, negative possibility. Subtract 5 from both sides. Divide by 2. The disjunction is then x is less than or equal to negative 5.5 or x is greater than or equal to 0 0.5. If we put it on a graph, it shows the solid circle of greater than or equal and the beyond sets.